welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my October spreads in my A6 of that Kobanichi. Um, if this is your first time watching some of my videos, hi, my name is Ariel. So lately for the past couple of months I've been really enjoying uh, journaling in my Hobonichi. As you can see, um, my Hobonichi is getting quite thick. So I've only been journaling in this for four months. Um, I think I started this in July when this guy started, yeah, in July. Um, and I think I found a style that I really enjoy. If you just check out some of my older Hobonichi videos and my other Hobonichi flips, um, then you would probably see how my style has changed and I definitely really really love these entries. So I'm definitely going to continue doing sort of this style in November. So you would have already seen the spread um, when I did my flip through a little journal with me and this is the spread, the two page spread that I did for that video. Um, I really did end up enjoying it and I kind of used these similar colors throughout the whole month. Something that I really liked about journaling in here was that I can use like little bits and pieces that I like already have. These are little die cuts from Purpose Papery that I really liked. I thought they were really really cute. This bow up here is also from Purpose Papery and I do have a discount code for her Etsy shop. Um, so if you would like to save a little bit of money on some of her digitals, I have that down below. As you can see here, I was still doing some calligraphy with some Super Tips markers in whatever color that I chose. I decided to stick a lot more things in um, my Hobonichi recently. Um, I, I tried out this Starbucks Instant um, Pumpkin Spice Latte. It was really, really good, so I decided to stick that in here. I also have some pretty um, glitter washi as well. So for the most part, I stayed with a uh, orangey theme, but I also added a little bit of pink as well as a little bit of green. I sort of stuck with the color theme of these uh, date covers. They're not really date covers, but they're from uh, Petite Deco Rush, and I really, really enjoy them. Uh, I just decided to stick them in here even though this planner is already dated. I just thought they were really, really cute and I really like this artist. I also did a little bit of watercoloring, not as much as I normally do because um, I didn't have too much time. But I really just like how all of these spreads turned out. Uh, the pen that I've been using uh, to do all of my journal entries is the Hobonichi pen here. Um, and I really like how my writing looks like it in this Hobonichi. And all of the hand lettering is done with this uh, Pentel uh, brush pen. This is the Touch One in the gray. It is my favorite, favorite color. Uh, out of the pack that I purchased from Hobonichi, so um, I really really like that. I think it gives a slightly softer look versus like a dark um, black. Um, I've also been playing a little bit with some more washi and some deco paper that I um, purchased from a Japanese store and I really love it. I love these um, little bits of like layering actual washi and these are little, or no actually these are little like masking tape stickers. I really like them. I I got a full pack of them from AliExpress a long time ago and I'm just using them now and I think they're really pretty. And I like using a little bit of this grey um, calligraphy pen um, on every single day even if it's just um, some like little short sayings or something like that or some lyrics from a song that I really enjoyed. But I'm really happy with how all of these spreads turned out. They're sort of, they're not vintage looking but um, I sort of, I just like the feel of it. I like layering this washi over top some of these words. Um, I've started to stamp a little bit more. I'm definitely trying to like layer a lot more, which is something that I never really did um, in my previous spreads, and I really like how it turned out. I like how some of this washi is slightly transparent. I also made a little envelope for more private entries that I don't really want to show, like this. I just stuck it in here with some washi and added some other um, cute little stickers from AliExpress. And so that is it for all of my October entries. I'll give you a quick sneak peek of what November currently looks like. I've already started journaling in this a couple of days and as you can see I'm going for like a slightly greenish theme and again I'm using these little day covers that I love. Uh, this is a new sticker sheet that is going to be in my shop soon. I just printed and cut this today and I'm planning on using it in some of my spreads. Um, they're sort of like holiday themed and I think they look delicious. So I'm going to keep this uh, sticker sheet in here so I can use them in my next couple of entries. So let me know if you guys enjoy watching these types of videos, but let me know if you guys enjoy like talk through videos more or if you guys uh, like just with music or something like that. 
I might do some more plan with me, some like time lapse plan with me's, or maybe even like talking ones if you guys uh, want to see that. So please do let me know in the comments down below. Um, I would love to hear like your feedback and stuff like that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!